Welcome to eFit30. My name's Katie McKenzie from Rerun. Today we'll be working through Pilates for low back pain. It's a class specifically for people who have low back problems and will help you move and stabilize your spine using your core. So let's take it down to the mat. We're going to swing the feet around to the end of the mat and sit up nice and tall. From here, just draw the belly button gently in towards the spine and place the hands at the back of the thighs. We're going to slowly roll down to the floor. If you need, you can take the hands onto the mat to lower you down even more safely. Once you come down to the floor, let's just bring the feet a little closer to the body. From our lying position, we're just going to find our neutral spine. So from here, let's tuck the pelvis and press the lower back gently into the mat. Like we're trying to press down through our hand to the floor. And then inhale, let's lift up through the lower back and press the tailbone down into the floor. Don't arch too high. There should be no sharp pain when you do this. Exhale, tucking down, pressing through the lower spine and inhale, lifting. And let's just work back and forth through those two movements as we start to move our lower back. There should be no pain when you do this and gentle movement should be quite nice for your lower back. Let's just do one more each way. Lifting up into your gentle arch and then come back to the midpoint. Here we're neither tucked or arched. We just have a gentle, natural lower back curve. You might be able to just slide your fingers in under your spine. This is our neutral spine and this is the spinal position we'll be using throughout all the exercises today. From here, we'll draw that belly button in towards the spine. At the same time, you want to think about lifting through the pelvic floor, but keeping everything else nice and still. Make sure that you're not clenching those muscles so strongly that you can't even breathe. Maybe just take it back about 50%. Keep a natural breath going, but keep those belly muscles drawing in. And then let's just release. Gently drawing the belly back in. We're going to take the knee slightly out to the side. Let's start with the right leg. We'll gently drop that right knee out to the side, using our belly to keep the pelvis nice and still. Inhale, bring the knee back into centre. And exhale, the left leg goes out to the side. And coming back into centre. So let's just keep those movements small and controlled. And work from side to side. This exercise is your bent knee fall out. And it's a really good exercise for starting some activation of those deep abdominal muscles. Make sure there's no pain in your hips when you do this exercise. And let's do one more on each side. Making sure you don't swing that knee too wide. We wanna keep everything nice and controlled. Coming back into center. And let's just gently bring those knees into the chest for a little stretch. Take a couple of deep breaths and let your lower back relax. Let's take the feet back down about hip width apart and find your neutral spine. Drawing the belly button in gently, we're gonna take it into toe taps. So keeping everything else nice and still, let's lift up through the right foot and then tap it about halfway down towards the end of your mat. Inhale, bring the foot back to the start. And exhale, taking the left foot down, tapping the foot down the mat and bringing it back in. As we work, we're using the abdominals to control your spinal curve. If you feel like your lower back is arching, just make the move a little bit smaller and focus on drawing your abs in a little stronger. There should be no pain in your back or your hips as you do this exercise. Keep it nice and slow. The stability muscles will work best if you slow the movement down. 
aiming for the same spot every time you reach the toes down the mat. One more. And drawing the foot back in. We'll just take that exercise up a level, taking it into our lift and extend. So drawing that belly button in, finding your neutral spine, we'll take that leg up into a tabletop position where the knee's bent at 90 degrees and the shin is parallel to the floor. Inhale here and then exhale, extend that leg 45 degrees, reaching with the toes, lengthening the leg. Inhale back to center and then exhale down to the mat and then changing sides. Left leg comes up to tabletop, extend 45 degrees, coming back in and taking the foot to the mat. As you work, there should be no pain through the back. You should be able to control the spine using your abs and work nice and slowly. If you feel like your back is arching away from the floor, then make the movement a little bit smaller. As you switch from side to side, focus on keeping the pelvis nice and level by drawing the belly button in towards the spine Make sure there is no rocking through the pelvis. Reach long with those toes as you extend that leg out and let's do one more. Exhale, extend, inhale back in and taking it down to the mat. Find those knees and bring them into the chest to rock side to side. One foot at a time, take those feet back down to the floor, about hip width apart and we'll draw the belly button in, finding our neutral spine, this time interlacing the fingers in behind the head with the elbows wide, keeping everything nice and strong. Exhale and curl those ribs up towards the hips using your abs to do the lift. Inhale slowly back down, shoulder blades touching the mat. Exhale, curling straight back up and inhale, taking it down. So we're working into our ab curl. We want to make sure that we are working with control and there's no strain into the lower back or the neck as we work. Exhale to curl up. Inhale, take it back down. Keep the elbows wide and really focus on drawing that belly button in towards the spine. Let's just do two more. Exhale to curl up, inhale, take it back down, extending your hands back behind the head and the feet can reach long the opposite way. Lengthen all the way from the fingertips to the toes and let that abdominal wall stretch out. It's okay to gently lift your ribs to let your lower back arch slightly through this exercise as long as there's no pain. Just take a couple of deep breaths here. Really let those muscles relax. From here, we're going to roll onto our sides. So just bend up through the legs and use your arms to help you round onto your side, bringing your arm under your head as a pillow. Setting up through the pelvis, we'll draw that belly button in towards the spine making sure you've still got a neutral curve through your lumbar back and press the pelvis slightly down towards the feet. The knees are bent at about 45 degrees and the feet are in line with the hips. Scoop the belly button in towards the spine and just squeeze that left buttock. Then relax the muscle and squeeze it again. And relax, we're just trying to activate those glutes Usually if you've had a bit of pain in your back, your glutes may be quite hard to activate. They may have become lazy. Just do one more squeeze and relax. And then we'll start with our clams. Drawing the belly button in towards the spine, squeeze through that left glute and then open up that top knee. We rotate that knee about 45 degrees and then inhale slowly back down. Exhale, squeeze and rotate. Inhale, taking it back down. As you work, you want to make sure that those hip bones stay pointing forwards, that you don't start to roll open through the top hip. 
and that there's no pain in the front of the hip joint. Squeeze into your glute. Keep everything else nice and still. Let's just do two more here. Squeeze to the top and take it back down. Excellent, so our glutes have started to wake up. From here, extend that left leg out in line with the hip, point through the toe, and let's start tracing some tiny circles with the foot. So squeezing into your left glute and pointing that toe towards the wall. Tiny little circles, nice and smooth, working every muscle in your buttock. Hold after the next circle and then reverse your action. So we'll take the circles backwards. Keep everything else nice and still. Lengthen through the leg. Point the toe, squeeze the glute. Three circles to go. Two and one. And bring that knee back down to the hip. You might like to give that glute a little rub before we change sides. Then from here, we'll sit back up. Swinging the feet to the other end of the mat and lowering yourself down to your side. Find your left arm, taking your head down onto that pillow and drawing the belly button in, we'll press that right hip down towards the feet. Before we begin, just squeeze that right buttock, waking up those glutes and relax. And squeeze and relax. Couple more times just to make sure they're working. And last one. And relax. From here, drawing that belly button in, pressing that hip down towards the floor. Keep the feet together. We squeeze the glute and open the knee. Taking that knee slowly back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Make sure as you work that those hip bones stay pointing straight ahead. There's no rolling through the top hip. There should be no pain in the back or your hip. You should be able to feel that glute muscle working with your thumb as you hold your hand on your hip. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Focus on squeezing the muscle and working with control. The belly button draws in to keep those hip bones straight ahead. And we've got one more. And relax that knee down, taking it into the circles. We'll point that right toe, extending that leg out from the hip and start your circles. Make sure you're still squeezing that glute and the belly is still nice and strong. No pain in the low back. Nice, straight, long leg, three to go. And one, hold it there and reverse. Keep that length through the whole leg, point the toe and keep the circles nice and smooth. We're working every tiny muscle in the buttock right now. We've got three to go. Keep it nice and strong, two and one and bring that knee back down to rest. From here, you might like to give that glute a little rub and just let that, those muscles relax. Great work, we're gonna finish off now with a few stretches. So rolling around onto your back, just take your time, use your arms to help you and come to a comfortable position where your knees are bent and your feet are about hip width apart. Let's start with a glute stretch. We'll cross the left ankle over the right knee. Just press that hip out nice and wide. Keep everything else nice and strong. The spine is still in neutral. And this might be enough stretch for you today. If you'd like to take it a little bit stronger, we'll reach the hands through the thighs, find the shin, and then draw the legs in towards the chest. Just relax down through the head and neck onto the floor. Most importantly, keep that left knee wide. That will ensure the rotation goes right up into your hip to stretch those glutes properly. One more breath here. 
and then relax that right leg down to the floor, uncross the legs and we'll change sides. Right ankle comes up to left knee, rotating that knee out nice and wide. And just holding here for a moment to stretch out through the hip joint. To take it a little further, you can reach the hands through and bring the legs right down in towards the chest without losing the rotation and the wide knee. Make sure your head and neck are relaxed. You can take a couple of deep breaths here just to release the muscles. The neutral spine is still there. We're pressing our tailbone gently down into the floor just to make sure we're giving those glutes a good stretch. And then let's take the feet down, about hip width apart. We'll go through a little lumbar rock. From here, we're just gonna take the knees across to the left, letting the front of those hips rest. Scoop the belly, come back to center and then we'll take them across to the right. There should be no pain through your hips as you do this. The gentle twist should feel quite nice through your low back. And you can take it as fast or as slow as you like. Let's go one more to each side. And final twist. Inhale those knees back into center and we'll draw them into the chest for a little hug. From here, let's roll around through our sides and press back up to sitting. Use your hands as much as you need. We can sit with the legs crossed or if that's not comfortable, just have the legs out in front of you. Draw that belly button in towards the spine, stacking the vertebrae one on top of the other and rolling those shoulders up, back and down. Let's take this great posture out into our day just make sure that you get up from the floor slowly when you'll finish the class. Thank you for joining me today for our latest video. My name's Katie McKenzie from Rerun, and please remember to subscribe to eFit30 for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.